Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. Uh, I was sick. I had dengue. I was in the hospital, hospitalized, and uh, yeah, I started being fine. I, I started getting fine like now three or four. See, it's been like three or four days since I started feeling fine. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a project that I've been working on. Uh, rather, I had I had it down conceptually, but I just needed a coder to code it for me. Uh, right. So for now, it's a trading view indicator. But very soon, I'm going to incorporate uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Now, the reason why I suddenly began to uh, talk about this is because I already had the uh, the predictors inside my mentorship and the bias predictor and the price action predictor, whereby the price action predictor tells me all about what the day is going to look like, while the bias predictor is going to tell me what the New York session bias is going to be. Now, the bias predictor uh, is based on a concept of mine. And the reason why I began, like again, like I said, the reason why I began speaking about it is because the up and coming N, A double N, inspired me to do so. So the bias predictor is inspired by N. So it's just minus the artificial intelligence. So we will be looking into artificial intelligence soon. Okay. Right. So what is meant by data-driven predictions, right? So now we have price data such as open, high, low, and close data points, right? So we're able to make certain predictions in price by extension of the ways in which these data points can be used. So the open, high, low, and close you can combine these data points by percentages, by different, different, different combinations uh, in order to make certain predictions. Now, the predictions, of course, is based on your testing. Yeah. So in conjunction with price data, we also use time series data. So time series data is price data that is timestamped, right? So price data that is timestamped. Like, for example, at 4 a.m. EST, this was the open, high, low, and close. So that is time series data. Okay. It's continuous. Okay, so we can use time series based data in order to filter price data that is more meaningful than others. So what do I say more meaningful? I mean, based on certain time of the day, right? So based on certain time of the day, such and such open, high, low and close is more important than others. So through the combined usage of this time series data, price and time or time and price, we are able to make predictions that are accurate up to a certain degree that will assist the trade that, 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 that will basically assist the trader with bias, therefore enabling the trader to use these predictions as a confluence in making trades or in taking trades. Right? So you can see there's a clock over there, X money, which is price. I don't know why the clock is overlaying the uh, text, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. So the TTA bias predictor, what it does and what it aims to achieve. So the bias predictor, what it does is every day by 4.30 a.m. EST, it outputs the session-based bias for the New York session. So the bias that is predicted is more so applicable to the a.m. session rather than the p.m. session. Okay. So, but of course, there are instances where in which the bias predicted for the a.m. session carries over to the p.m. session. And that is when certain conditions are met in the time and price axis. So... Uh, so this is whereby it is predetermined prior to London open, whether the price action for the entire day is going to be a low resistance liquidity run condition or a high resistance liquidity run condition. Okay. And of course, the economic calendar plays a part in this as well. All right. So the bias predictor, what it does is it, it predicts the bias for the New York session based on, based on certain time and price conditions, uh, which allows the trader to know beforehand uh, how to prepare for the New York session. Right, so, basically, so basically over here, it says, henceforth at 4.30 a.m. EST, with the bias given, the trader is able to make preparations in terms of preparing the framework. So the framework, right? So uh, is it going to go from a bullish shorter block, a fair value gap? Uh, that's up to you. Okay, so that will enable the trader to get in line with the bias predicted. So for example, gold session bias is bullish. So the role of the trader in this instance is to prepare to go long when the conditions fit to go long. Okay. And the conditions to go long, on the other hand, is completely dependent on the trader. So my condition to go long can be completely different to your condition to go long. Okay, So it's based on the trading model that best suits you. But of course, the prediction is universal. So no one has to have different ways of predicting whether it's bullish or bearish. So when it, gives, when it says you're bullish, 
all you have to do is just look for your bullish entry model. Okay. Right. So now we also have the TTA price action predictor. Okay. So what the price action predictor does is that it predicts prior to the London open whether the entire day's price action is going to be a low resistance liquid run condition or a high resistance liquid run condition. Right. So by knowing the conditions that price is set to run in during the trading day, the trader can employ trading models that best fits that condition or avoid it altogether. Or no, best fit that conditions, best fits those conditions or avoid it altogether to save the emotional roller coaster. Okay, so why is there going to be an emotional roller coaster? Because when you have a high resistance liquidity run type of day, okay, when you have a high resistance liquidity run type of day, this is what you're going to be faced with. That's like a, like a seek and destroy type scenario. Okay. All right. Now, example, gold. Price action predictor says, okay, today you're going to see a low resistance liquid run inside of gold. So the trader in this case will be preparing to engage in price action that will lead to a bullish or bearish run. That doesn't only span 30 to 50 pips, but it can go up to 100 pips, 200 pips in a certain direction. If you have red news, then it can go all the way to 300, 400, 500 pips. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a stretch, but let's just say 100 to 200 pips. I'll show you guys examples. Right? Okay, so the TTA bias predictor. Right now over here, what you can see is this. You can see, let me change this color first. Okay, you can see here. Down here, you can see the session bias is bullish for the New York session. And you can see over here is 8 o'clock, 8.30 rather. Okay. Price is all the way up in premium. Okay. So if you're bullish, we need to see price going to discount and then starts pulling up. Right. Going to discount and then starts pulling up. Right. So let's see. Right. And then you can see over here, this is where we right took the screenshot. It, I actually took this screenshot in replay mode, but this was yesterday's price action, uh, 6th of June. Right, so I already mentioned it to the group. The group got all this beforehand. Uh, the bias is bullish over here. So over here, the bias is bullish, right? But then why why is it going down? Because to go up, we must go down, right? So the entire NY session, yes, we got a quick move down, but the resultant move is up. Okay, that is the bullish bias. So let's say you're framing this trade okay here's a bullish order block down here you're waiting for price to come there and then you're going to execute on this bias given okay so it drops into sell side liquidity and price begins to rise up fulfilling the predicted bias okay right now the price action predictor before so this is also replay mode from uh, uh, yesterday's price action 6th of june 2023 try the on the right, top right corner you can see the days profile on the day's expected delivery is a high resistance liquidity run condition if there's no red news so there was no red news yesterday so if there's no red news this day is going to be quite tricky so when we have a high resistance liquidity run conditions price is going to target existing positions meaning meaning if you are if you are short over here obviously you're going to be short here your, your stops are here right so it's going to do that then you have longs over here it's going to do that longs over here it's going to do that long shots over here is going to do that right so that is the definition of a high resistance liquidity run condition day all right so at the end of the asian session the liquidity run condition is predicted and in this case on the 6th of june 2023 the prediction is that of a high resistance liquidity run condition and the hallmarks of this type of price action is that price will be choppy for as long as there is no high impact news driver during the ny session okay and here it is. You can see how choppy it was. Yes, you have moves that will enable you to liquidate existing positions because the type of day, the, 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 the type of data this is predicting is that it's going to liquidate existing positions, right? So for example, if you're long here, you're going to liquidate these guys. If you're short here, you're going to liquidate these guys. If you're long here, you're going to liquidate these guys. And if you're short over here, you're liquidating these guys. Okay. All right. Right, so now, example number two, price action predictor. So I, so I went and found a low resistance liquid run condition to show you guys. Right, so here on the 25th of May, 2023, look at the top right corner, low resistance liquidity run conditions. So this day is going to show you 
that price is gonna be if, if price is gonna find it very easy to run towards liquidity. Okay, so price is gonna find it very easy to run towards liquidity. Okay, that's what low resistance conditions are. And you can see goes for the Asian high and then easily ran for liquidity. So price runs towards liquidity in a low resistance fashion. There's, there's no choppy, choppy, choppy bullshit. It's just one quick sweep down. That is the hallmark of a low resistance liquid run condition. Combining both the bias and the price action predictor, right? So for this same day, uh, 25th of May, right? Look, continue example of the 25th of May, 2023 before. So before now, we have the low resistance liquid run condition. And by 4.30 AM EST, we have that we have the indication or we have the prediction that the session is going to be bearish. So now we have low resistance liquid run conditions and a bearish session. That's the, those are the predictions, right? And what's the next result? There you go. So the massive displacements down, they are the LRLR conditions. And the direction to the downside is the bearish direction as outlined by the predictor. Okay. Right. Right. So the purpose of the bias predictor and the price action predictor. So you can use the bias. You can use it as a bias helper service in your personal trading. It's paid usage, of course. I'm not going to give it to you for free. Uh, you guys can have a one week free trial, not one month. Actually, fuck it. One month free trial. Okay. And uh, partnerships. Uh, so, of course, I'm also going to be uh, networking out to have partnerships in trading development, uh, trading algorithm development using this approach of bias and liquidity and conditions. So we can make something out of it. If you are a coder in Python or C++, uh, we can get together. We can uh, create something out of it. And uh, for people that are good at machine learning and, and artificial intelligence, I would love to work with you guys to build uh, an advanced machine learning, uh, to build advanced machine learning concepts into the predictors to create, uh, to create a Python uh, program that will uh, use or employ artificial intelligence to give out signals and actually take trades uh, through a trading platform okay that was so that's the uh, goal so the main goal the main goal is, is is basically these two okay and you won't appreciate anything if it's free so this is paid after one month right so what i'll do is i will uh, all right well you guys can send me a message on telegram and uh, i will create a free trial indicator so that you guys can use it. So the bias predictor and the price action predictor, they are two separate indicators. Uh, they cannot be combined. So they're gonna be uh, two separate prices as well. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite cheap because I want everyone to have access to it because it's a buy it it will at the end of the day it'll help you out. So I wanna give it to you guys cheaper than uh, what Anne is charging. I don't mean no hate towards that, but I I feel like just to know bias, the, they're charging way too much for it. Unless, of course, uh, there are data costs involved, then it's uh, then it's understandable. Okay. So, yeah, uh, it's going to probably be $50 per uh, per month for each uh, predictor. Uh, and, of course, since it's going to help you out with your trading, you should be able to make that back easily. Okay. Right. More examples. So, let me share my screen. All right. So, now let's have a look. Right. Over here. Can you see uh, my hold up? Now, if you go to a random date, let's just take a random. Oh, I don't think we can, but let's try it anyway. Uh, let's see somewhere here. Okay. Right. So over here, Asian session done. And by this, by, by the end of this day, or by, at least by the end of the Asian session, you get the bias. Okay, but since I already passed through it, let's just go to the next day. Yeah. Let's wait until price finishes up the Asian session. One more. Okay. So, okay, over here now you can see low resistance liquidity run conditions for gold, right? What you're going to do is you're going to wait till 4.30 for it to update the session type.
session is bullish. So for this day, the session is going to be bullish, right? The NY session is going to be bullish. So you are focusing on getting a long in. And let's see, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, and there you go. Okay, you get your long in somewhere here, somewhere here, and up it goes. Okay, let's see another day the next day. Let's keep on playing it for a bit for the entire week over here. So, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's play price until my vertical line. Okay, here. Look at this. Asian session done. Top right corner. Low resistance liquidity run condition. So again, it's a low resistance liquidity run condition day. Okay. Price should find it easy to move. So let's get the bias. Okay, bias means what here? Oh, here. Bias is bearish. Okay, bias is bearish. So you are looking for sales. Let's see. Sells off a bit and then starts going up. In this case, is it a failure? Not yet. Look at the day. The day we, we still have time. See? Still have time until 4.30. There. Okay. So then over here, we go up. We are, look, we are still looking for the short, right? There. See this? Up there, short. Done. Why is this an example that kind of fail it's because of the type of day low resistance liquidity on conditions right when you have price already moving in a certain direction during LRLR day then the bias that is being uh, generated is only going to be a temporary retracement okay listen carefully when you have an LRLR day and price is already moving in a certain direction the bias given is only going to give you a retracement Okay, and that's the trade. So also uh, when so so when price is already moving in a certain direction, you're just looking for a scalp in in the session of in, in in the direction of the session. Okay, all right. Next day. So high resistance liquidity run condition. So this day is going to be quite choppy, unless of course there is a red news here. So if there's a red news event, price will just flow in a certain direction. Okay. Session is bearish. So what happened here? Session is bearish, right? So over here we start NY session. We are focusing on NY session after 8:30. Sorry, my bad. After 7:30. 7:30 here. Price sells off. That's the session based sell that you're looking for. Okay. This is the session based sell that you're looking for. Here you got a nice scalp. Price runs up. So, why is it running up? It's because there must have been a red news event. So when there's a red news event, a high resistance liquidity run day is going to exhibit low resistance liquidity run qualities. Okay. Low resistance liquidity run qualities. So, yes, you got a sell here, a nice move. And then when price suddenly does this and starts breaking up, right? What are you going to do? You are still focusing on this. You are not focusing on logs. Okay. Because when it goes up, right, it's of course going to have to retrace a bit, right? Okay. So we're going to take a sell somewhere here. Okay. To keep in line with the bias given. Okay. Keep in line with the bias given. And let's see more examples. See here. Low resistance liquidity run conditions. Let's see the bias. Bullish. Bullish bias for LR LR condition. Okay. Price goes down, smashes all the way down, goes to a POI. Here. This is the long you're looking for. This is the long you're looking for. Guys, look, if you if you observe from here, right? With if this is where the bias is given. And this is where price is at during the NY session open. And of course, it's going to search for something here, right? Drops into it. Here is the high probability buy. Okay. This is the high probability buy down here. 
done. Okay, done. All right, yeah, next one. High resistance liquid run conditions. Day is going to be hard. Bearish session. Bearish and my session. Opportunity number one. Opportunity number two. Done. Okay. When you get the opportunity to go short, just go short. Forget about the bullish side, right? So yes, it goes up like this. Fine. It takes out a high. Change of state to delivery. Down. That's all. Okay. That's why I'm going to give you guys a one month trial. You can try it. And you guys can see. And then give me the feedback of this. All right. See here. Low resistance liquidity on conditions. Right? Bearish session. Bearish and Y session. Here, 7.30, sell. That's the, that's the sell. That's the sell. Look, the bearish and Y session, like I said, if you remember when I was explaining it, it only is relevant during the AM session, not the PM session. Only some instances when you have red news events also, it goes all the way to the PM session. But this is for the AM session. So here, 7.30, boom, goes down, done. And then 12 o'clock here, 12 o'clock here, look. Look at the closing price at 12 o'clock versus the opening price at 7.30. It's bearish, right? That's a bearish session. Done, finished. Okay, next day. High resistance liquidity run conditions if there is no red news. Bullish session. So let's see. AM session is bullish. That's, that, that's what we're expecting. There we go. Done. You see, done. Here, bullish. Uh, AM session bullish. Boom. Finished. And then 12 o'clock, it trades uh, it, uh, lower. There. Done. This is the move we're looking for. You're looking for this move. Oopsie. You're looking for this move to go in liquidity. Done. Finished. Okay. Next one. And then later on, when it sells off over here, goes in liquidity, you can buy again. Because why? I'm saying the bias is bullish. Okay. The overall bias that you're looking for is bullish. So go buy over here. Buy over here. You missed this sell. Who cares? Buy over here. Done. HRLR conditions, top right corner. Session is bullish. So we are looking for a bullish opportunity for like 50 to 100 pips. Okay. Or I'll 30 to 50 pips because it's a HRLR condition. So let's see. What happened? 6.20, 7 o'clock, 7.30. We get a sell off, okay, cool, cool. We get a sell off, right? But when it comes down here, the bias is bullish. I'm looking for bullishness. Okay, so I would be in this move based on a one minute chart. So let's see how many pips that was. Uh, 100 pips, 90 pips. So 50 pips is all we need. 30 to 50 pips because of the nature of the day, right? Because remember, these moves that's happening, listen carefully. It's because price needs to go down to go up. If it is already up, it needs to go down. If it's already down, then cool, it's going up. Okay. High resistance day. Bullish session for uh, uh, the, uh, the AM session. There we go. Done. At 12 o'clock, done. Okay. You can be in long still to see whether it carries over until the PM session as well. Okay. So that, that's your long. Done. And you can combine the data from here, the price action prediction versus the bias prediction to tell you if it's high resistance conditions. So if it's high resistance conditions, right? so if, let's say session is bullish. 
high resistance conditions, HR, LR. Yeah? That means if it's going to go up, it's going to target existing longs before it can go up. You get it? All right. See, next day. High resistance conditions. Bearish session. So bearish session, right? So where's the liquidity? Liquidity is, uh, let's see. 430, the new up. Hey, Alana and Lewis here. Liquidity is here. Then liquidity is here. Anything else? Let's see. Uh, all the other liquidity pools up here. Yeah. Okay, so find uh, 730, 730 is here. We're looking for shorts. And look, high resistance day. So look, it's going up. Okay, taking out, so it takes out the shorts, takes out the existing longs, takes out the existing shorts. And now it's waiting. Okay, so either way, when it takes out this high here, this is this day's London high, so, so that's your bias. That is your easy 50 pips. Easy 50 pips. Okay, one trade. This gives you only one trade. You, you can you can play around with it and get more, but the best possible scenario is one trade. Okay. So liquidity is still existing up over there. Let's look at this as a final example. Look at current price action too. Low resistance liquidity on conditions. Let's see the bias. Bullish. Bullish bias. We took our liquidity. Let's see. AM session is bullish. Here, liquidity gone, buy. Look at the pip count, 126, actually. About 136 pips, done, finished. Then that's the long, that's the long. Okay, that's the long. Session is still bullish, right? So you can look for more longs later. Here. Okay, here. That's the long, next long you're looking at. Okay, that's the next long you're looking at. Why did it price sell off like this so aggressively? Okay, look. Here is the PM trend, right? PM trend high is up over there. Did price take anything now? But over here, price took out the London high, causing this drop. Okay, what about here? Here, NY session takes out the what? See this London high. Okay. Positive drop. So there's a buy until London high. Done. That's your scalp. Finish. That's your NY session. Close the damn computer and move away. Okay. All right. Let's see this. Okay. One last example. Uh, LR, LR conditions again. Uh, this is quite a conundrum. Bearish session, okay. Go. Bearish session, boys. Bearish session. Down. Finished. You want to still be bearish? Okay, go ahead. But the day ends. And the day ends. All right. Okay, here. Next one. Low resistance liquidity on conditions. Bullish bias, and I've got to mention, guys. Look over here. Yeah, LR LR for one to five a.m. LR LR five to nine a.m. Nine to one p.m. One to five p.m. The entire day is going to be LR LR. That's that that that, that that's the prediction. It predicts every four-hour candle as well. Okay, so the session is bullish, and you can clearly see here one to five a.m. So that's one to five, one to five, one to five. Price moved lower. Nicely. And from 5 to 9, we're looking for another LRLR. Can you see? 5 to 9. 5 to 9. LRLR. Smash down. Okay. We are still looking for the bullish session. So the NY session, we're looking for it to be bullish. Right? 
can carry over to the PM trend, but yeah, yeah this this one, this one, yeah, this one. That's the that, that, that's the high probability bullish scenario. Let's see you enter long here. You get fifty pips. Let's see. Uh, not really. Fifty pips is up up over here. Let's see. There you go. Fifty pips done. You miss all this. That's cool. That's okay. And you get this piece of the pie. Okay, now there are ways in which you can get this entire thing that is outside of this go of what I have to give you uh, over here. That's mentorship stuff, but you can get this as well. You can get this and then you can get this because this is the law of the day. Okay. All right. Let me just finish it off here. I know I said I'm finishing off so many times, but let's just finish it off here. High resistance liquidity run conditions. You will see 1 to 5 a.m. LR, LR. 5 to 9 a.m. HRLR, 9 to 1 p.m. HRLR, and 1 to 5 p.m. LRLR. Bearish session. So 1 to 5 a.m., what happened? 1 to 5 a.m., we ran up so nicely. Now from 5 to 9 a.m., we are going to see low resistance conditions. Now, okay, he did not take out stops anywhere. I just moved down. So session is bearish, right? So from here, seven thirty onwards, bearish sessions. That's that's left. Goes down, starts smashing up. This this is the cell you want to be in. Start smashing up, okay? Why? Because look, from nine a.m. to one p.m., low resistance liquidity run conditions. See, uh, how is that? Huh? How is that? Still looking for shorts. That's a short I'm going to be in for a scalp. That's another short I'm going to be in and done. So I'm going to be short over here. I'm going to be short here. Actually, not, not here. I'm going to be short here for, let's say, 50 pips. Did I get it? Yes, I did. It went all the way to 70 pips. So don't underestimate this, right? It's a massive amount. Yeah. All right, that's all. Let's look at current price action. What's the price action telling us for today? High resistance liquidity run conditions. One to five is LR, LR. So let's see one. One is over here. One is over here. And five is over here. You get the nice low resistance move down. Okay. Five to nine a.m. also low resistance. Five is here. Nine a.m. is over here. Let's see how that goes. Okay, session session bias is bullish. Okay, session bias is bullish. Released at four thirty. We are looking for uh price to move up. Okay, if it goes down, that's fine. It's gonna go down into support and then go up, like I've been showing you in, in, in these examples. Okay, remember. You want to get the most easiest move, and these moves are going to come from the high of the day or low of the day. If it's a bullish session, it's going to come when the low of the day has already been already been formed. Or higher, if it's a bearish session, it's going to come when the bearish session, when the bearish, uh, when the high of the day is already formed. Okay, you can use this by itself if you if you don't have any issue with bias, you can use this by itself, the the price action predictor by itself. If you have no issue with uh, predicting how the day is going to be, you can use the session bias by itself okay these two go hand in hand this one provides this one provides the environment while this one provides the direction okay there's going to be a time in like how i showed you there are going to be difficult days in which it just smashes in one direction proving this to be wrong but this is not wrong this guy here right the bias predictor what it does is it predicts the high of the day or the low of the day okay so of course, when you're going to form the low of the day, sometimes it's going to be displacing down, 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 down until it forms the low of the day. And when it forms the low of the day, you can easily, confidently get in the move. Okay, all right, all right, guys, that's all. Uh, I will make it uh f free for you all, but of course, I'm gonna to have to release one when which you all can uh, use it. Where I have to add you guys individually. So send me a message on Telegram as Shawnee Trades Effects. And uh, I'll create one and I'll let you guys use it for one month. After which it's going to be uh, paid. Okay, it's going to be about 50 bucks per indicator. You don't have to get both, but if you want extra help, you can use both, but one is enough. All right, so 50 bucks per month. 
and also uh, for the guys that are interested in working together in, in making a pro, uh, trading algo uh, for development purposes and so you you can use it i can use it uh, for hedge fund purposes as well uh, do reach out to me and uh, let's see what we can do all right okay guys that's all so with that said i'll see you guys in the next one good luck in good trading bye bye